Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out the alpha version of a game called Pillow Fight. Uh, this is by developer James Jacobson. It's an adventure slash platformer done in Blender and it is designed for a game jam, some sort of a week-long contest. Uh, and it was the developer's first attempt at learning how to use Blender and create a game. And I think this was a particularly interesting little concept. I mean, I don't see a whole lot of third-person action platformy type of 3D games and I really do enjoy when I run into these. So I figured, hey, why not cover this on the show. I think it's kind of cool to be able to grab somebody's game who it's their very first time that they've designed something in 3D, and then sometimes I also do games that are by pretty big indie publishers and stuff, so it's kind of neat to get a big gradient between the two types of uh, games that are distributed. So, what is the premise? Well, we've got this little box here. I'm sure you've probably read it by now, but tomorrow's the big day. It's a surprise birthday party for little Lucy, all of which could be ruined by radioactive bed bugs, which have infested her room while she was at school. It's up to Captain Pillow Pete to find them all before she returns. So we need to find 26 bed bugs, and then uh, hopefully we'll save the day. So let's give this a try. All right, so here we go. We are off to save the day. You'll see we've got a pretty large landscape before us. Uh, basically looks like, you know, a young person's room. And uh, this is kind of a thing that I've always been fascinated with uh, as far as games have gone. Like, all the way back to the olden days, like on the N64, the PS1 and everything, there were attempts at uh, creating these large, expansive, like, inside someone's home environments, and I always thought that was really fun, and I always wanted to see someone do it really well. Uh, and I think this one actually is surprisingly well done. It actually channels a bit of uh, Katamari Damacy, which is a reference that I make pretty frequently on the show. But whenever I run into a game like this, it always sort of makes me feel a little bit happy and a little bit nostalgic for some reason. Like, we've, uh, we've tapped into some uncharted territory that I've always wanted to see someone do better. So, uh, now we get to jump around this person's room and see if we can perhaps find these bed bugs. I'm not particularly trying all that hard, am I? Uh, but we've got some interesting models here. We've got, uh, like a hairbrush, some lipstick, we've got a toad figurine, and, uh, some things that are pretty recognizable. A boombox here, some kind of tipped over glass. I'm gonna guess there might be a bed bug. Nope, apparently not in there. Can we? Oh, there's one behind the boombox. So we actually have a... I don't know how strict this time limit is. Uh, I think it started at, like, 300 seconds or so, uh, to find out where all these bed bugs are. I don't think they're all particularly well hidden, but some might be well more well hidden than others. So we'll do a bit of jumping here. That was a bit of a leap of faith, because I don't actually know what's down here at all. I thought I just saw... Oh, there it is. And all we really need to do to get one of these things is just touch it. And some of them seem to want to run away, so there's actually a slight bit of AI here. Uh, that one does not seem to want to run away, and that one is getting stuck in the walls now, and I just saw it do a little bit of a spin move. Uh, now, obviously, there's some issues... Uh, as would be expected with somebody's first game, so I'm not really going to be too particularly critical. And also, this is an alpha regardless. So, uh, we really only have uh, the game character to control from behind the head, where there's no, you know, camera operation. And so, this is just WASD. Uh, or do arrow keys? No, arrow keys do not work. And spacebar to jump, that's really all we get. And it may actually be enough. You know, honestly, the camera's not particularly terrible. I've run into some pretty awful uh, over-the-shoulder platformy type games that just are really impossible to navigate. This does not seem to be one of them. But we also don't have to do any particularly difficult movements, it seems. And I don't know what happened if I actually captured that bed bug or if it just, like, glitched through the environment. Uh, so we seem to have some stuff going on in these, I don't know, vent shafts here. We've got, uh... Looks like a dirty sock hanging out in here, and some kind of maybe a moldy banana or something. I don't know what this shape actually is. Um, anything else? No, nope, looks like this is all cleared out. We've got a Lego. Definitely don't want to step on that. Actually, it seems to be a recurring theme. There's quite a few Legos in here. Uh, and I did notice also I could step on, or uh, roll around and then step on that uh, ball that was in the center of the room before. So I guess we could use that to lift ourselves up to a higher position. Um, now we don't actually seem to have a meter of how many more bed bugs there are to get, so that's a little bit of a, I would say, a misstep in this case. It's kind of an important bit of information to know how close we are to actually finishing the game. Uh, but, you know, on the upside, not that big of a deal. We've got some pretty good models, uh, to look at and jump around, and I assume if we finish this properly, well, the game will either have some sort of a congratulations screen, or maybe it'll just kick me out to the desktop. Uh, I know that there is also, if we just happen to hit escape on this, it will actually just boot us out, uh, regardless of if we're ready to go or not. I do always like to have a prompt when that's the case, so, you know, word to developers all around the world. I've definitely said this in a few other episodes, but if you have the opportunity to add a few lines more code that will allow us to have some sort of a prompt uh, before we're kicked out, right out to the desktop, please do. That definitely helps, especially when people are recording. 
And again, this is an alpha, so I really can't be all too critical, but I did have to do a bit of uh, my own scaling of the window to find 1280 by 720, which is always a little bit frustrating because it's a little bit of a hit or miss, and in the event that I actually end up getting booted out to the desktop, well, it's going to lose those settings, and I couldn't actually find an INI file anywhere that I could reset things to uh, from that. And, oh, did I find my way back up? I think I have, actually. So a laptop we're standing on, and there's actually, like, one of those little old mouse uh, nubs. I always thought that was so strange. If you see one of those laptops that has, like, the little eraser nub shoved into the center of it, kind of an interesting thing that they chose to do things that way. And then we actually seem to only have well, a couple more that I can see, and I think we may have covered quite a bit of ground here, even though it didn't seem like it at first. No, but that didn't boot us out, so I guess there's still more. Oh, there's one over on the Nintendo over there. But I have to say, all in all, this is actually a pretty well done little first attempt at making a 3D game. I definitely enjoyed it. Oh my goodness, where have I gone? I've fallen down. Well, I guess we'll see what happens in five more seconds, whether or not I get booted out. I am curious to know. Oh, try again. Okay, so we actually aren't brought out to the desktop. We can actually just give it another attempt if we want. Uh, and I'm not necessarily sure that I will get them all, but it is definitely a pretty cool... Oh, time's up. Try again. So I guess it doesn't necessarily reset... The, uh, the win or lose conditions, which is a, a little bit of a glitch there. Kind of an important one, but again, alpha, so no big deal. Pillow Fight 0 0.1, definitely enjoyable. I think this was uh, quite a bit of fun. I'm sure if I quit the game and then relaunch it, it should be just fine. Uh, and if not, I guess I could, like, delete the file. But regardless, uh, I do recommend this one, actually. This is definitely something I'd like to see uh, developed a little further. Uh, if James Jacobson wanted to take this a little bit further into development, I definitely think there's some potential here to have a good time. So, quick notes, I would say, uh, fix the little thing about, you know, resetting, add uh, a counter to know how many more bugs you have to find, uh, and uh, just in general, just you know, little tweaks. Make sure the controls feel right. They didn't seem too bad to me, honestly. And maybe add, you know, mouse support to manipulate the camera from behind your head if you could. I think that would probably make it about as good as we need. And then if you wanted to, you know, add new levels later on or something. So it's a bit scalable in that respect as well. So all in all, good work. I would definitely play this again. And uh, if you want to go grab it, link's going to be right in the description. So feel free to go give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, and if you have any similar thoughts about some of the stuff that I discussed, like if you, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I've always been sort of into the concept of like exploring the micro world that lives within someone's room. I always thought that was kind of a cool thing, but anyway, we're going to wrap up this episode. So if you want to go check out the game, again, it's in the description. I've got my other links in there, like my, uh, my social media stuff, my Facebook, my Twitter, my, uh, uh, Twitch page, and of course, indie-impressions.com, where you can go to find almost 600 other episodes that I've done in the series. If you want to go find more videos, that is where you'd want to head. They're all sorted and categorized, and hopefully there's something over there for everybody. So let me know what you think of this game in the comments. Uh, leave any support you can, I greatly appreciate it. And be sure you come back again tomorrow. New episodes are every single day without fail. So I will see you then, and I hope you have a lovely night. Talk to you later.